Hello everyone and welcome to another video. I hope you have been well in the last few months and if you are in Germany I hope your basement hasn't been flooded and I return to you with a new video, quite a special video in fact. Today I got a review sample of a 3D printing service from Foster's Foundry, link in the description, of the Lunar Auxilia range from, I think it was on Kickstarter, and they bought the license to print them for commercial use. And they sent me units in the worth of £25 to review it for you. So, in this video, I will review these Lunar Auxilia from Forster's Foundry and, <coughs> and tell you if they are worth it or not. Hereby, I want to tell you that they have sent me the units for free, and I'm uh, and I get to keep them. But uh, I told Foster's Foundry, and they they are run by a friend of me. But I still told them that hey, if there is some stuff I don't like, I will point it out. So maybe my opinion is a little bit skewed, but I try to remain as neutral as it is. So, let's get into the review. First of all, this was the first 3D printed models I've ever used and um, received or bought from anyone. So, you can expect me, uh, you can expect some damages I cost and I will point those out. Um, I cost some damages while remo removing the supports because I thought the supports are uh, no, they are as easy to remove as usual uh, sprue, uh, as users clipping the units from a sprue or resin gates. So, yeah, I will go through all that. So now, let's take a look. So we have ten infantrymen of a last rifle section, you could say, and as you can see. The detail is quite nice. This is the sergeant, I believe. Yeah, this is obviously the sergeant because he has a power axe. I try to get some more, some more detail on this guy. Yeah. So basically, he has awesome details. So they use printers that can actually convey all of the detail that it's that is sculpted in the 3D sculpt that's actually very nice as you can see there's a octet on the chest plate of this dude and there's other details on the legs like the webbing and the supports everything you would expect from units that are in void sealed armor I think now you can see the detail very quite well. So the detail is obviously very nice. So now you may think, well, the detail is, isn't their achievement. It's in the CAD files. Well, that's true, but only to a certain degree. Because they use printers that can convey almost all of the detail of the STL files. So maybe printing them at home wouldn't give you this quality. Also, one key thing I've mentioned is that they sent me stuff worth £25. Or I think this was even £23. The uh, 10 last rifle dudes and the elite section. So you get 50, or oh, I think 16. No, you get 15. So, sorry, I was counting. You get 15 models for £23. And they are of good quality, but they suffer from a little bit of the 3D printing standards, I would say, that you have to endure if you don't have industrial printers. But they aren't that bad, to be honest. So, 23 point, well, point, pounds would get you 10 of these last rifle section dudes. 
can see here's a normal trooper. Awesome detail. So they are the lunar auxilia are modeled after the soul auxilia, but they are called lunar auxilia because of the trademark, obviously from GW, and also they are modeled to be traitors. But on the website, you can have bland options for them. So I believe the bland options of these units are without octets and without chaos stars and whatever. But you would have to ask them if you want to buy from them after this uh, after this review. So you have 10 dudes, awesome detail. I mean, yeah, please. If the camera would focus on this dude, I would pretty much like it a lot. Yeah, you see the detail here. Of 10 very awesomely detailed dudes. And this is the comms guy. He has also quite nice details. But one thing I noticed is that the comm unit, he has a comm unit thing. That always breaks off. But I think that's, uh, that's a failure of the sculpt and not a failure of the printer because the contact point with the resin is very thin so it breaks off all the time i've fixed it like 20 times now so that thing always breaks off but i don't think it's their fault you have a running guy and now this one is the first thing i think is the problem with 3d printing but not a huge one so so this lad is supposed to have a Bayonet uh, While he's defending himself against something probably I don't know a blood angel <laughs> that tries to get a melee and He um, and the bayonet wasn't in the kit as well, at all So when I received this dude, obviously you have there's no assembly required at least for the small models um, He had he didn't have a bayonet sadly and they was they were well packed so I think it's an acceptable loss in a 3d print and I mean the bayonet isn't that bad but this one uh, came without the barrel of his last gun last carbine if it's a auxiliary, auxiliary trooper that's kind of sad and the barrel also wasn't in the package so I think that's just a uh, minor misprint there if you have an imperial guard sprue I guess you could put on the end of a last rifle there to fix it but yeah sadly that came and not the best uh, I mean the model is in fine condition it's just the the uh, it's just the barrel that's broken off and sadly I couldn't find the couldn't find the part but that was one of ten models so yeah this dude perfectly fine this dude also perfectly fine awesome pose like a getting ready to fence someone off pose I guess so that's extremely nice I like that the poses are very awesome and yeah this dude He's supposed to have a pistol, but <laughs> while removing the supports, the pistol flew through my room and I couldn't find it anymore. So that breakage is on my, my end. That's my fault. I didn't, I didn't know that the supports are that strong to the model. So yeah, that breakage is my problem. Otherwise, he's a, per uh, he's a perfect print as well. I mean, you can see the back side so well. And I think I didn't clean them off quite right. But, um, yeah, here's another bayonet that sadly wasn't in the box. So I think the bayonets are problematic to print because they are th thin lines. So please don't, don't judge me. I've never cleaned up 3D printed models in my life. I've never used 3d printed models but them they are very cool and for the price of i think 13 pounds sorry the video died there for a second so for the price of 13 pounds having 10 dudes with 
maybe some minor fixes you have to apply is pretty cheap. I think a guardsman squad from Forge uh, from Games Workshop is 35 euros now. So I would almost get three of these squads for one Games Workshop squad, at least in my region. So yeah, that's a, that's a trade-off you can make. And maybe the barrels don't break all the time, but the you can remove the bayonets quite easily. You can just snip them off with your clipper. I didn't do that because I wanted to review review them as I got them. So yeah, that's uh, that's the infantry squad. Definitely worth it for the nine euros they're supposed uh, the nine pound they're supposed to cost. That's like nine pound is like eleven ish euros, and that's a damn good price if you ask me. And then you have the elite command squad, and these came out better. I would say even perfect. Yes, because there's no problem to this models as these models at all. They, they, I, I, them. I ordered bland, so there's no chaos stars on them and stuff. Um, and these dudes, they were perfect. They, they had a lot of supports as well, but they were there were no barrel breakages or no bayonets snipped off or something so these were quite awesome to be honest and the the detail so for these five dudes you would pay nine euros which isn't as which isn't bad as well i think the solar auxilia command section from fortwell which obviously has six models and i think they are thicker but i never have them in my hands would cost you 73 euros so if you want to play solo auxilia on the cheap i would definitely recommend you to use foster's foundry they are awesome and their packaging was quite good but i received them a month ago but i couldn't make the video earlier so the packaging is gone sadly this dude also looks pretty good look at the veteran it's just chilling anyway um, you have a comms guy as well. He has the same comm unit, but for him it didn't break off like the other comms guy. So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe the I mishandled the comms guy from for the other squad, but that's the one that always breaks off. And here you have the banner. The banner is either with a chaos star or without a chaos star. And this one is the blank banner. Also very nice detail. So, I've shown you the models, you have seen the details, let's compare them to some other models, right? So, obviously these are meant to be solar auxilia for the Horus Heresy war game. So I would expect you to use them for the Horus Heresy game, but you could also use them as guardsmen or traitor guards doesn't matter for both of the games you would save quite a lot if you bought your army or at least the infantry through foster's foundry and the rest from forge world so they they save you a bit the models are quite cool they look good i mean you've seen some detail here and I will also make a, make a video of them when they are painted, so you can see the detail even better. But I would say for not, for 23 euros, you kind of, or let's say 32, th for 32 pound, you can have two solo auxilia squads and one, and one uh, command squad to start your solo auxilia army. And I love that. The pricing is obviously awesome. So, if you're thinking about you want Soul Auxilia and you don't mind them to be traitors and you want them on the cheap, maybe consider or consider Foster's Foundry. Definitely. So, now we have a comparison, a size comparison. Here you have the Lunar Auxiliary, Auxiliary Trooper. See the nice webbing detail. Next to an 
Iron Warriors Marine. So, these are the old Mark III resin marines, and I really, really like them. And I think the scale of the Lunar Auxilia is actually quite right. Uh, so, for the scale of a human being, I think he scaled probably against the Iron Warrior. There you have a new Chaos Space Marine from the from the Warhammer forty k from Warhammer forty k. Obviously, you all will know that. He is quite a lot bigger than the than the Luna Auxilia, if you put them back to back, but they are also scaled up. But still works for 40k even. If you want to have them as traitor guards, they would work in Warhammer 40k. And then you have one of the biggest transhuman warriors of the Imperium. The Custodes. So, yeah, the Custodes absolutely dwarfs him. But what did you expect? <laughs> He's a Custodes. He's like the Emperor's bodyguard. So, yeah. But they still look good towards him. Like, if you compare the detail of the Custody and the dude of the Lone Auxilia, it's still... it's keeping up. Like, you are not losing de detail. So they are awesomely detailed. Obviously, Games Workshop with their... with their industrial printing have a better... Uh, have a better uh, status quo for making models but for Foster's comp Foundry which is a small company to sell such finely detailed models is actually pretty nice and they keep up they won't look dull and I feel like if I paint them they will look even better and fit even better on the battlefield so I hope you like this video uh, I hope I could uh, I, I shown you some interesting stuff maybe you're considering buying models from Foster's Foundry or maybe through my video you thought no Foster's Foundry is actually nothing for me um, I don't know I wanted to show them off thanks for to Foster's Foundry again for sending me the models and also thanks for watching you know it stay healthy keep the heresy train alive and bye-bye.